welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here today. My name is Jocelyn. If you love to talk about fragrance and perfume, you've come to the right place and I hope you consider subscribing. I also hope you consider following me on TikTok and Instagram where I also talk about perfume but slightly different content. Today, I'm super excited to have been tagged by the fabulous Jon Snow. Jon is Scented Snowdrops on Instagram and Jon Snow on YouTube. And he recently did an Instagram reel where he talked about Gothic fragrances. So Gothic fragrances is a style that I love. So I really love a deep, rich, dark, brooding, ambery, spicy fragrance. That's just really my thing. And so when I saw that he tagged me in this, I was like, yes. So I love talking about my favorite Gothic fragrances. And it's just a genre that I really enjoy. Um, he talked a lot about Buffy the Vampire Slayer in his video. I love that show too. I watched all of the Buffy's and the Angels and it's just a classic and I just kind of gaga over that whole deal. Be sure to hit the notification bell because I do post on my community tab pretty regularly. I post fun finds and deals. So I'm always watching for a good deal for you and for me. So check out the community tab. When you hit the notification bell, select all so you're notified every time I post a video or post on the community tab. My first gothic fragrance is Alien. This is the original, but Mugler has so many great gothic style fragrances. This is just one and I love this. It's a classic. It's a jasmine bomb. I think most people are familiar with this one, but it's a perfect like indolic jasmine, really deep and rich and intoxicating and sensual. So the original Alien is fabulous. It comes in this fabulous bottle and I'm sure you've seen it and it's beautiful. I love it. So my next one is from Sir Luton and this is La Couche du Diable or The Devil's Bed. And I talked about this recently in a review and it's beautiful. It's spicy. It's interesting. It's got some cinnamon. It's red in color. It's just a beautiful fragrance. It's not super long lasting, but it is a gorgeous, very gothic style fragrance and I love it. This is my gothic rose and this is Ellie Saab Essence Number no. 1 Rose. And this is a gorgeous, it's got like four kinds of rose, but I think there's also like cinnamon, some other spices in here. So it's a really interesting, deep, rich, again with the red colored juice, which I think is always kind of fun. This is beautiful. Unfortunately, it is discontinued, but if you set notifications on sites like FragranceNet and FragranceBuy.ca, it does come up occasionally. So occasionally you can snag this and I really love it. It's interesting and it's very unique and delicious. Again, I said Mugler is a great Gothic style fragrance house and this one is called Miroir de Majesté and it is a beautiful amber fragrance, very spicy. All the ones I'm talking about today are incredibly gender neutral. So I think all the ones I'm talking about um, are marketed to women, but these are all very gender neutral. Guys can wear these, women can wear these, anyone can wear these. So um, this one included actually um, the Ellie Saab Essence line, I think is marketed as unisex, but, and you can wear anything you want. And this one is beautiful. It's, it's a classic, it's gorgeous. Um, this miroir, which means mirror, mirror collection from Mugler is unfortunately discontinued, but this is another line that kind of pops up on those sites if you set your notifications for those particular fragrances. So I really love this one. It's beautiful. It comes in this really cool mirror box, which I have down at my desk. And so that's a beauty. I did a video on this one. This is L'Ombre de Merveille from Hermes. And this is the calligraphy version because it's got this really cool calligraphy design. And this is a, a classic, beautiful amber. I love an amber fragrance. I've done videos on amber centric fragrances. And this is a gorgeous one. It's a classic. The Eau de Merveille line is a really beautiful line from Hermes. Um, the original Eau de Merveille is beautiful. There's a blue version. There's an ombre version, which I haven't tried. And then there's an elixir version, which I have tried, which is great. And then this ombre or amber. So this is great for your amber fragrance. I love this design. I think it's really cool. And this one, I got kind of a good deal on fragrance net. So this was another one of my fun finds. This is my scent of the day. This is Sticky Fingers from Francesca Bianchi. I've done a couple reviews on Francesca Bianchi. This is my favorite from the house. And it's, it's a little bit vintage style. It's kind of like a modernized vintage, um, beautiful, spicy amber. The juice I think is gorgeous. And I really love the house of Francesca Bianchi. It's a niche house. 
This one actually pops up on fragrancebuy.ca occasionally. If you set notifications there, you might see it. I ordered directly from Francesca Bianchi's website and that was a really good experience. So um, this is gorgeous. It's um, like I said, a little vintage style. It's a beast mode. It lasts. It's beautiful. They're all x straight versions from Francesca Bianchi. So an x straight version is generally going to be long, longer lasting than your Eau de Parfums. I've talked about this a number of times, but not too recently. This is from Lolita Lampica, and this is called Midnight Couture. And this is kind of like the original Lolita Lampica, but it's a little bit more dark and rich. It's got more myrrh and benzoin, and it's got a little bit more of a deep, rich, sensual quality than the original. The original is kind of light and um, sweet and kind of boho chic. This one's like more dark and brooding as the bottle would indicate. I think the bottle's kind of fun. And I think it's a really beautiful fragrance. Unfortunately, it's discontinued, but this Midnight line from Lolita Lempica is gorgeous. I really love them. And if you can find a decent deal on them, I definitely recommend them because they are so beautiful. There's this one, and then there's Minuit Dor, which is the gold one. And then there's Minuit Sun, which comes in kind of a sparkly bottle. So they're all gorgeous and I love it. So I think it's kind of a nice Gothic fragrance. I have to have one from Narciso Rodriguez. This is Narciso Rodriguez for her L'Absolute. And this is like Narciso Rodriguez, which I recently reviewed, but a little darker and richer and deeper and a little bit sweeter. It's beautiful. It's pretty long lasting. It comes in this stunning bottle and I love this. It's um, It's got that Narciso Rodriguez house DNA, that beautiful clean musk, and it's just a stunner and I love it. This is from the house of Tokyo Milk and this is called Excess. This is from the Dark Line and this is a patchouli bomb. It's gorgeous. It's got lots of patchouli. I love it. It reminds me a little bit of Jimmy Choo, the original Jimmy Choo, which I love too. That's actually a really good gothic fragrance as well. I didn't pull that one, but Jimmy Choo, the original, I think is a great gothic style fragrance. This one isn't quite as sweet as Jimmy Choo because I don't think this has a toffee note like Jimmy Choo does, but this is gorgeous. And for those patchouli lovers, this is fabulous. And I think the bottle is really cool. I love that octopus design. So I'm actually gonna spray this. I think this actually would layer. Yeah, it's like super rich, not very sweet. It's um, gender neutral and gorgeous. I've got another one from the Ellie Sab Essence line. This is number three Ombra or amber. This is one of my favorite ambers. It's um, It's got some other notes too, in addition to the amber, and it's just a spicy, delicious, long-lasting, beautiful, classy, classy, gorgeous amber, and I think it also fits that kind of gothic style. Um, I think amber and spicy fragrances in general kind of fit that bill with um, sort of dark richness and kind of mysteriousness that um that they have so i love this one it's beautiful also discontinued sadly but set your notifications i'll stop saying that <laughs> maybe uh next we've got angel this is the original angel angel eau de parfum from mugler it's a classic it's been out for a long time and it's just a sweet beautiful rich long-lasting beast mode patchouli and chocolate and all kinds of different notes that it's just a fabulous classic that I love and mm, it's um, I think it's timeless um, it definitely has been out for a long time I think it came out in the late 90s but or maybe even the early 90s but it's so so stunning and you can just smell it a mile away it's long-lasting it's beast mode it's it's fabulous it comes in like the star shaped bottles I got this kind of special edition bottle and I love it. And that's the original Angel. Lots of flankers and a wide variety of flankers. Lots of bright and beautiful ones and lots of deep, dark, rich ones. The original, very, very beautiful and gothic. And then I have to have an Oud fragrance, of course. This is from Latafa. This is Oud for Glory. And it's a dupe of Initio's Oud for Greatness. It's beautiful. It's very um, complex and very deep and rich and um, beautiful. I really love this. I haven't smelled the original, but I love this. And mm, so it's got that oud and it's got warm spices and it's fabulous. And I love the bottle. It's very substantial, very heavy. And um, this is very inexpensive. I think I got this for around $30 on fragrancebuy.ca. It kind of goes in and out of stock, but you know what to do. So... <laughs> Anyway, that's Oud for Glory from Latafa. 
so that wraps up my gothic style fragrances again this is something that i just love so you can probably tell that i'm pretty excited <laughs> pretty excited about these fragrances because this is just one of my favorite kinds of fragrance. So I would love to hear about your favorite Gothic style fragrances down in the comments. Be sure to let me know what you're loving and please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and feel free to give it a thumbs down if you didn't and I'll see you again very soon. Thanks.